Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Um, so yeah, last time out we headed, uh, we basically found out from um, Rab and Jade that basically people are getting, uh, that uh, people getting involved in the, in the uh, tournament, um, basically uh, fighters are all going missing. Um, you know, going missing without a trace and so... They want, and so uh, we thought it was a good idea, basically to. Uh, thought it was a good idea to basically. Uh, keep an eye on Vince to make sure that nothing's going to happen. You know, make sure nothing's going to happen to him that he gets back to his. Um, uh, gets back to his orphanage pretty uh, all in one piece. Which fortunately looks like that's the case. Um. And it's at this point where we actually get a bit of, um... Sorry. It's at this point where we get actually get a little bit of, um, backstory for Vince. Or rather, it's not really backstory, it's more, um... <coughs> sorry. It's more, um, kind of, we get a little bit of insight into his, uh, personality and, um... Uh, why he, uh, he gets involved in the, um in the MMA tournaments. So yeah, basically Vince was born and raised in, the, in this orphanage in Octagonia um, and basically the reason why he fights is to basically you know, win these tournaments so that he can uh, give money to the orphanage uh, so that he can stay in business. <coughs> and so he's got a very uh, He's do, he's doing you know he's um, fighting and trying to earn money for a very uh, noble reason really, uh, trying to keep his the orphanage which was just so good to him afloat. Um, something I want <laughs> to want to mention as well. I actually kind of like the what happened. Did you hear that? It came from my room. Oh, something's happening in Vince's room. What's going on? Um, but yeah, I like the little bit of um dialogue which they had there which was like you know Vince <laughs> Vince and uh, Tom Till talking to the night with the you know <laughs> it, <laughs> with you not being able to get a word in edgewise <laughs> yeah he's a bit of a talker is a uh, is Vince so let's head into his room oh my god he's been ransacked the place has been fucking ransacked what the fuck's going on? What kind of lowdown? <laughs> Dirty thief, burglarizes an orphanage anyhow. And what were they looking for? Uh, uh, just you, Chris. Yeah, Wait. almost gives himself away a little bit there. It's, uh, it's kind of uh, uh, something Listen, that you kind of notice we gotta fight the thing <clears> in little bits and spots, hit, uh, little bits and pieces here. Um, that? that he's maybe hiding right. Go get something. You're not quite sure yet. You've no reason to really um, think that he's up to anything bad, but he's obviously trying to keep something secret, and we'll find out more about that um, later on in the. Um, uh, we'll find that out a, a bit later on. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, his room has gotten broken into by someone who we don't know, who we don't know who they are yet. So we'll find out. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the next fight. So let's meet up with Vince. And let's kick some motherfucking ass. <clears throat> time for the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some more masked martial arts action? Um, it's also kind of a weird one where, um, you know... So we're going to find out what's going, up, going on with the uh, person who uh, uh, snuck into Vince's room later on. But for now, it's time for the next round of the Mixed Martial Arts Tournament. This time we're going off against Cinderella and Wombolina, a.k.a. the BT Queens, which I love. I love that fucking name so much. <laughs> the BT Queens. Um, I also like the fact that their, name, their names are kind of like... You know, like, um, based off, um, 
like uh, what's the name of it? Uh, like fairy tales. Cinderella, obviously Cinderella, but it's like Cinder as in uh, fire, which is kind of cool. <laughs> and Wambolina, <coughs> Wambolina, which I assume is a take on Thumbelina, but you know, they hit. <laughs> she hits pretty hard. Um, and the Beatty Queens, I like the Beatty Queens name. That's what this game does really. It's what Dragon Quest, like, uh, Dragon Quest does in general does really well, is like the punny names. They're so awesome. Pretty, pretty act for you. Time to kick some ass. That means they can fight. I also really like their designs as well. The kind of cool designs. Fight. Time for fight. Time for the next round. And we're taking on Cinderella and Wombolina. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Cinderella likes to use fire magic. Um, and basically, <laughs> what am I doing here? There you go. Hits as hard as you can. So yeah, Cinderella likes to use fire magic. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, Wambolina hits pretty hard, but she also uses, um, uh, uses her charm abilities. Um, and basically, if you get hit, uh, Vince comes in, uh, you become enthralled, and it basically means that you can't. <clears throat> you can't move for, I think, it's a couple of turns. Um, so, yeah, you have to be kind of. So, you have to be kind of careful and make sure that you don't let your damage, dro your health drop too low. And of course, now they can use their special attack, the Smoking Heart Slash. Which doesn't actually do too much damage, but you can, yeah, you just be covered now, so that's useful. And Cinderella's down. It's pretty much the same uh, deal as in with the any of the other uh, tournaments, like any of the other matches. Basically, <clears throat> sorry, you try and aim for one. Like you try and uh, keep attacking one enemy at a time and uh, just keep knocking them down and keep making sure that your health is topped up. And if you do that, it's pretty comf you'll have a pretty comfortable time. BT Queens are actually not that hard at all. Like I say, Cinderella just uses fire magic. And the most annoying part is uh, Wambolina's um, charm. So you just have to be a little bit cautious. That's all. Nice and easy. And so yeah, that's the ne we're through to the next round, ladies and gents. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're into the Time for the semi-finals. And here come our first challengers. Give them a big hand now. It's Who's next, baby? Invincibles. This is kind of something which I kind uh, which I'm a little bit um which annoys me a little bit is the fact that <coughs> Obviously, it kind of it's leading. Uh, it's kind of leading to the final be between um, us two and Jaden Rab. I just think it would be nice if we saw the fight. You know, Jaden Rab's fights, uh, their quarterfinal and semifinal fights. I just think that would be. I just think that would be more interesting than just going through and just seeing what our fights. And so, yeah. <laughs> Can you guess who that is? Yeah. And I love this. <laughs> I love the voice that Sylvando puts on here. This kind of um, strong he hero esque um, voice. And he also also lets slip. Almost lets slip multiple times by going into his uh, by <laughs> revealing his name. He's Sterling Silver. Which, by the way, I don't know how he comes up with all these names. And he's like, uh, you guys know each other? Never met him before in my fucking life. <laughs> and we're going up. And he's got his faithful sidekick, Golden Boy. I guess after Erica fucked up so badly in the first round, we have to have at least one of our, our group get through to the semis. <laughs> I 
I love the act that Sylvando puts up here. He's so... <laughs> as well. like so enthralled by them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really... God, his voice... The voice that he puts on is so fucking good. And yeah, this is something to be a, a little bit wary of. So he's drinking these um this potion before a match. Which we don't know about. He's a drinker apparently. So yeah, we have to so yeah, we'll find out about that later on as well. But for now, time for the semi final. Time to take on Sterling Silver and Golden Boy. And that's definitely they are, and they're nobody else. So it's the Bullion Boys. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Golden Boy is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, because of his special ability that he has. Oh, 150. Look at that. So yeah, uh, so Vince, so uh, Sterling Silver likes to use abilities which uh, cause status effects like the poison that he just put on Vince here. Um, he also likes to heal himself, but he hits, he doesn't really hit all that hard. Um, and then with Golden Boy, he just likes using uh, boomerang attacks. He likes using multiple hit attacks. He's also not that hard. He like he he hits. There we go. Silver's down. <laughs> the thing is, um, he, Gun Boy isn't really all that hard either. He just likes to. He just hits for multiple uh, attacks. His attacks hit, you know, hit multiple times, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But he's also not causing that much damage. The first attack which he uses at, used in the fight is uh, actually the strongest. His strongest one, which is the s starburst attack or something like that. Um, yeah, that causes uh, multiple hits, about thirty or four, between thirty to forty damage each. So he hits really fucking hard with that. But other than that, they're actually really fucking easy to defeat. And again, focus on one, get rid of him, and then move on to the other. Nice and simple. Hey! What the fuck? Silv, Silv, get stay down, lad. <laughs> Make it look like I'm a badass. <laughs> Curses. The great Silv, um, uh, yeah, I love Silv's voice here. It's so good. That kind of heroic, that very deep heroic voice it sounds awesome. <laughs> It was a battle of epic and legendary proportions, and I thank you nah. for it. <laughs> kind of an easy fight, man. Darling. Giving yourself away, self. Stop. <laughs> and there we go, we're done. And I just, I just like how Vince kind of likes him. <laughs> kind of finds him an entertaining character. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final. I wonder who will be fighting in the final. Yeah, it's, it's kind of obvious. Anyway. So it's time for the final of the mixed martial arts, the masked martial arts tournament. I know, I've only just realized that. It's not the mixed, it's the masked. And it's us. Myself and Vince. And we're going up against. Or will surprise newcomers Rab and Jade snatch glory from the reigning champ? Rab and Jade. I love their nickname, by the way, the Princess and the Pudding. I love it so much. <laughs> so great. Although I feel a bit sorry for Rab in that uh, in that uh, description, but whatever, it does fit. <laughs> well, unfortunately, sorry, buddy. That's also a re really kind of shitty uh, description for Rob. Ah, oh, poor bloke. But anyway, it's now time for us to take on Rob and Jade in the final. 
time for a little good luck boost. And out he comes with his drink again. Time to go. Did you see that? I did. And this is kind of like a bit of a uh, hitting you over the head kind of moment where it's like, yeah, there's something suspicious about this drinking malarkey which um <clears throat> which Vince is doing. All right, time to fight. One last time now. So yeah, this one, um, this fight is the hardest of the lot. Uh, and it's basically because both of them hit fucking hard. Uh, so to start off with, the one you want to take out first is Rob. Because Rob heals, uh, a deal, you know, uh, heals a lot. Um... So you want to try and get rid of him as soon as possible. But as you can see, like, the attacks that they do, fuck. Like, Rab is doing f cast Zam, which is dark magic. And that causes a good 40 to 50 damage every hit. He uses mid heal, either on himself or on Jade. Which is why you want to focus on him and get rid of him first. But then even Jade, like, she does, like, between... Uh... I don't know, with her regular attack she does between 30 and 40 damage. Oh, and I'm been put to sleep. Yeah, he also uses um, Snooze to put this for us to sleep as well. And and special attack. Oh my god, the special attack does so much fucking damage. And boom. I'm almost done. Dead. And if you die, that's it. Game over. They hit really fucking hard, so you need to constantly work on getting rid of Rob as soon as possible to stop him healing, whilst also keeping yourself healed up. There you go. Once Rob is down, Jade on her own is still dangerous, but she causes but she causes a lot uh, a lot fewer headaches. Because yes, okay, she does really hit hard, but she all she doesn't have any. Um, attacks which are gonna which are going to cause major problems the only one which can be a bit of an irritation is she has a charm attack which can be a bit of a pain in the ass but other than that they're pr they're, they're the hardest fight of the lot they're really fucking hard but um see this is me working out oh shit I didn't for some reason the um, auto cutscene didn't turn on was turned off for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, it kind of shows. And and Jade recognizes the mark of the luminary. So, what does that mean? And it's because of this actually that they end up losing because both of them see. They both recognize the mark of the luminary. So. Caught you napping, old man. Yeah. What does that mean? Well. We're not going to find out for a little while. Oh, dropkick. <laughs> and Rob is out. So, yeah, because they were mesmerized by um, the mark of the luminary on our hand, they kind of were taken off guard, and Vince takes advantage of the situation. Kind of shows his kind of. Um, it also kind of shows his, um, um, what's the word, kind of brutal or, um, his ca yeah, it kind of shows his brutal side of winning by any means necessary. Kind of shows you that he's got a bit of a win by any cost kind of mentality, darker side to him that he keeps a little bit hidden. But yeah. We're the winner of the M uh, of the MMA tournament, so now we can get the rainbow, right? Because everything's done now. There's nothing else for us to do. The uh, MMA tournament is done, so that means everything's fine, right? Nice and fucking easy.
Nothing else could possibly go wrong at this point. Thanks for seeing it through with me, partner. Hey, the grand prize is something called the rainbow. Word is, it's worth a bunch of dough. How about we sell it and split the? No. Fuck you. I need that shit. Oh. What's the matter, Vince? Jesus Christ, Vince. He's got chest pains. Oh dear, what's going on? What the fuck's happening to Vince? We'll find out next part. <laughs> Join me next time for the next part of um, Dragon Quest XI when we're going to find out what the fuck is going on with Vince and also find out um, everything that's going on with um, uh, Rab and Jade as well. So, see you next time.